بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد continue on in our درس in basic fiqh talking about the issue of tayammum we reach the hadith of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the hadith of Ammar bin Yasser رضي الله تعالى عنه رضي الله تعالى عنهما قال بعثني رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في حاجة فج فجنبت فلم أجد الماء فتمرجت في سعيد كما تمرج الدابة ثم أتيت نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فذكرت ذلك له فقال إنما كان يكفيك أن تقول بيديك هكذا ثم ضرب بيديه الأرض ضربة واحدة ثم مسها شمال اليمين وظاهر الكفيه ووجه رواه بخاري ومسلم In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم The hadith of Umar bin Yasser رضي الله تعالى عنه رضي الله تعالى عنهما Who said The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم sent me out You know this was on a, uh, a mission in, in during jihad, or a uh, as a for a ghazwa, and he sent me out on this mission, and I then I had I became junub, and I couldn't find any water. So again, here's ichtihad. fi sa'idi kama so then I, I rolled around in the clean earth, similar to the way that an animal rolls around in the earth. Then he came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then I came to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I mentioned that to him. And he said, and It's verily it's sufficient for you to do like this with your hands. Then he hit the earth الأرض, he hit the earth one time then he wiped his uh, his left hand on his right uh, on the top of his uh, not his palms but the top of his hands and then he wiped his face and that was collected in Bukhari and Muslim. Letting us know one of the ways in which to make tayammum. In this hadith, there is many, many benefits. And I'm just going to mention a few and maybe we'll come back and do a, a further, a more in-depth study of this hadith. Because this hadith, uh, we shouldn't quickly go through it. It has many, many benefits and it has ikhtilaf between the ulama regarding this, regarding how many times a person should hit. But this is a nas that the Prophet ﷺ said uh, that, uh, that he did darbatin wahida. In this hadith, he did it one time. He hit the earth once, bow, and then he wiped his, his, his left hand on his right, on the tops, and then he wiped his face. And so in this hadith, he wiped his, uh, he wiped his hands first, and then he wiped his face. And this hadith has many, many benefits. Some of the benefits that Shaykh Ali Basami mentions, without getting into the ikhtilaf of the ulama, is that tayammum is like, you can make tayammum for, in the place of ghusl if you don't have water. As we mentioned in the hadith, uh, the hadith of, uh, uh, of Ammar, the hadith of Ammar ibn Hussein. So this is the hadith of Ammar bin Yasser radiallahu ta'ala anhum that in this hadith it shows us also, it illustrates that we, it is sufficient to make uh, for tayammum uh, tayammum can take the place of a ghusl for janabah. Another benefit of this hadith is that it is an obligation to search for water. So this is one of the conditions for uh, uh, tayammum, is that you did make an effort to find water. If you didn't have water on your persons, and you're out, for example, I'm out here, but there is no rivers anywhere near at this stage. 
you know, way, if I get way on the other side of the mountain, there are rivers down at the bottom. But here, there's no place. And if it was time for Salat and I needed to, then I would have to make Tayammum. As long as, a, or as long as I cannot get to the water in time, uh, during the time of the Salat, during the time, and still, and I'm afraid I'm going to be outside the prayer. So you must strive to get water and use water, because that's the asal of, the taha, of Tahara. Another benefit of this hadith is it shows us one of the ways in which tayammum is performed. And here the Shaykh mentions to hit the earth once, then wipe the face. He mentions here, ثُمَّ مَسَ الْوَجْ وَيَدَيْنْ إِلَى مَرْفَقَيْنْ وَتَعْمِيمِهِمْهَا بِالْمَسْ So one of the ways that they're mentioning here, the Shaykh is mentioning from this hadith, he's mentioning... We have a woodpecker up there, mashallah, tabarakallah. We don't want him to knock the wood down on me. Uh, one of the, the way he's mentioning, and from this hadith, he's mentioning that hitting the earth once, and then wiping the face. He said, thumma masal waj, showing his tartib, that this is the or, uh, order, is to wipe the face, and then the hands. And he's saying, up to the, to the, Marfaqain up to the uh, he's mentioning that this is mentioned in another hadith up to the to the to the elbows. But this hadith illustrates for us it's only the hands. And the Shaykh is mentioning that, and I think that was from a Da'if hadith. Naam. A hadith that's Da'if, and this is the hadith of Darqutni on, uh, on Ibn Umar. Ittayamum darbatan, darbatun lil waj, wa darbatun lil yad, ila marfaqain. So this is a weak hadith in Darqutni, so the Shaykh was mentioning that in this his explanation here. And so he, this hadith, this Da'if hadith, which is. is not authentic is a hadith where uh, Ibn Umar, the hadith of Ibn Umar, where he said, where the uh, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, or or Ibn Umar said that tayammum is hitting the earth twice, darbatan, one for the face and one for the hands, up to the elbows. So that's mentioned in a hadith, but it's as we mentioned, it's a weak hadith collected in Darqutni. Rahu Darakutni. And so the Sheikh was using that as well, and he mentioned, uh, and then he mentioned some, some benefits from some of the ulama, like uh, Ibn Rushd and Sin'ani, uh, in regards to this, in regards to the, or, to the order. So some of them are saying that it is, that the tartib is important. And the Sheikh mentions, he said, وَلَمْ يُرِدْ عَنَ نَبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ تَقْدِيمَ يَدْ عَلَى وَجْ لَا قَوْلٍ وَلَا فِعْلٍ So, Sheikh Ali Basam, he said, there it is, isn't mentioned in an uh, authentic hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wiped the, uh, the hands تَقْدِيمَ يَدْ to, to, to wipe the hands first. Uh, before the, the face. Regardless of... Uh, with, uh, not as a statement from the Prophet ﷺ, nor as an action. Now, another benefit he mentioned in, in this hadith is that uh, tayammum is also for uh, hadith al-akbar as well, as well as askar. You know, as long as you do not have water, it's permissible to make tayammum with, uh, in, in both those situations. And a last uh, benefit...
a, a last very important benefit related to ijtihad in Masail al-Ibadat. So he, he mentioned that this hadith is dalil, that there is, there is ijtihad in some issues in ibadat even, in worship. And then he mentioned, so it's not, of course, ijtihad in issues of aqidah, you don't say, uh, but in issues of ibadat, meaning fiqh ibadat, things related to tahara and, and salat, you know, in fiqh issues. So a, a last benefit he mentioned is that the mujtahid, the person who makes ijtihad, that he should make his ijtihad, that if he, he, he does ijtihad and, it is, it, it, and he finds out it is not correct, in an act of ibadah like this. And then it, it becomes clear to him that he was not correct in that. Then it is not legislated for him to uh, redo that act of ibadah. So that's why the situation, so for example, uh, Ammar was not ordered in this hadith, even though he rolled on the ground and, and got his whole body covered with the dirt, the Prophet ﷺ didn't order him to, to do it again. Instead, he illustrated for him, he said, Verily, it's sufficient for you to do like this with your hands. Then he hit, uh, hit the earth with his hands one time, and then he wiped his his hands, as we illustrated and we mentioned, then he wiped his face. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. And we'll come back to the issue of tayammum to get more in depth and look at some of the differences of opinion with the ulama and a debate so that, you know, to look in the issue a little bit more depth to make sure that we're correct in how to perform this very important act of ibadah. And may Allah forgive us of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.